welcome back everybody sorry it's been a while since we've had a video i've had some health challenges i've had to deal with um got a kidney disease and it causes a lot of problems and um so been a little behind on what i had intended and had been posting but um we are back in business but um we are back in business i guess i uh just kind of started getting back into things in the last few days and um, wanted to apologize this one since I haven't had any videos or anything out for a little bit but we're gonna get it going again um, for all of those of you who have had orders I want to say thank you so much for how patient and how kind you guys have been it's it's been amazing to have that kind of uh, support and for you guys to be rooting for me um, even though it can be frustrating to have your orders delayed and stuff but for all you who understand the nature of the work and that it takes some time for a special uh, product to get a wand made that has been seriously life-saving because we've been able to continue to do this because of um, your patience and I it means the world to me so thanks again and um, I'm excited to be back um, I did pretty well with this last surgery and things went good and so I've got a good positive attitude uh, better than I normally do. I usually get pretty down, but um, excited to be back in the shop today. We got uh, a little episode I'm going to do, just showing you the beginning to end the making of a one of the Pottermore styles, and um, and then we'll start the Wanda the Week up again and start doing some more um, character videos as I had planned. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching, and I did just want to basically give you all a shout out uh, and thank you for your support, and um, it's a new year, and we're going to try and do things a lot better and um, make some improvements and stuff, so stick with us and uh, come along for the ride, and we'll have some cool things to show you, and uh, we also just launched our website. Um, I'll have a little uh, video for that as well, kind of showing how it works, but you can make your own account on there and go and uh, look at all the stuff we have and we have some cells going on uh, for some of the character ones but anyway thanks again and um, it's nice to be back and I promise I'll be a little more consistent now and we'll get the ball rolling on the channel so it's more consistent but let's make some wands it's just gonna be carved and sanded and stuff other times I'll put it on the lathe to get the symmetry and that kind of depends on the style or um, the piece of wood if it's lumber, a lot of the time uh, that's just like cut out nicely, or a dowel or things, I'll do it on the on the lathe. Otherwise, I try and just do some uh, some stuff by hand, especially with like the branches. But um, we'll go ahead and show you how that goes, and then also I'll show you the um, style that we're going to be making. This one is the one that we're going to be working on right here, and uh, I just have that one down. That's like the two ring style. Um, and then I call this one the just one ring style um, for this part here and then the um, turned ball style so um, we'll be doing the second one and I'll show you how that goes uh, doing it from a branch Okay, so um, just gonna be running my one inch sander kind of along those marks. So, let's see how that works. Here in the band, so I'll show you how I shave off some extra and get that shape that I want. There's not a lot on here, but it does save on the belt. Um, I don't always do this, depends on the density of the wood.
fresh blade in here. Okay, now I'll show you the next step. Mm -hmm.